Ferozamide is effective in treating high blood pressure, heart failure and edema. In this video we'll break down all the important questions you may have about this medication. Ferozamide belongs to a group of medications called diuretics. These medications work on your kidneys, increasing urine production and reducing fluid retention. Hence why these medications are also known as water tablets. Ferozamide is therefore prescribed to alleviate symptoms of fluid retention caused by heart failure, liver and kidney disease. Ferozamide is also commonly used to help manage high blood pressure, often in combination with other medications. Is there anyone who shouldn't take ferozamide? It's best to speak to your doctor before taking this medication if you have any of the following conditions. You've experienced a prior allergic reaction to ferozamide or other water tablets. You experience postural hypotension where your blood pressure drops significantly when you stand. Some diabetics and also those who suffer from gout. Patients with significant electrolyte abnormalities such as low blood potassium or sodium. And additionally, patients with a history of liver or kidney disease. In these cases, additional care, monitoring or an alternative medication may be what's required. Is ferozamide safe in pregnancy and breastfeeding? Ferozamide is not thought to be harmful during pregnancy but should only be prescribed if really necessary. For breastfeeding mothers, the amount of ferozamide present in your milk is small and not likely to cause any harm to a healthy baby. In both cases, your doctor will need to weigh up the risk versus the benefit of taking this medication before continuing your prescription. What is the correct dose of ferozamide? Ferozamide is available in a variety of strengths, most commonly in 20 and 40 milligram tablets. Your prescribed dose will be dependent on why your medication has been prescribed and your response to treatment. The starting dose for fluid retention, also known as edema, is usually around 40 milligrams. Those with resistant fluid retention can see their daily dosing increase to 120 milligrams per day. Occasionally, higher doses are needed, but this requires specialist input. For high blood pressure, on the other hand, 40 to 80 milligrams is usually sufficient. Your prescribing doctor will reassess your response to treatment, usually after two to three weeks, and consider any dose adjustment. It's common practice for your doctor to monitor your kidney function whilst taking this medication, and blood tests are typically arranged before and after making any changes to your dosing. How to take ferozamide. Ferozamide may be prescribed as a once daily or twice daily regime. If you're taking it once daily, it's best to take it in the morning. For twice daily regimes, take your first dose first thing in the morning, followed by a second dose at midday. Taking ferozamide in the afternoon or evenings is not recommended and may result in disturbed sleep. Ferozamide will continue working overnight, meaning you'll need to pass urine several times during the night. How long will I need to take my medication? Most individuals prescribed ferozamide will usually continue this medication lifelong. Stopping this medication will result in the return of your fluid retention or high blood pressure. How long does it take for ferozamide to work? Ferozamide will start working soon after you start taking this medication. However, it takes a week or so of regular dosing to reach its optimum effects. If you're taking ferozamide to help manage your high blood pressure, it's unlikely you've ever experienced any symptoms of that condition. Therefore, even though you're taking the medication, it's unlikely you'll feel any different. But it is still important to keep taking it. Are there any foods I should avoid? There are no food restrictions whilst taking ferozamide. However, excessive salt intake or consuming salty foods promotes water retention. In patients with salty diets, higher doses of ferozamide may be needed to achieve the desired effect. Therefore, limiting your salt intake is probably beneficial. Can I drink alcohol with this medication? Drinking alcohol alongside this medication is safe, providing you do so in moderation. However, in the minority, the combination can cause episodes of dizziness. Therefore, it's commonly advised to avoid alcohol for the first few days of taking ferozamide and slowly reintroduce it. Those individuals experiencing symptoms when taking this combination should limit their alcohol intake. I've missed my dose, what should I do? If you forget to take your ferozamide on time, don't worry, take it as soon as you remember. However, if you only remember the following day, skip the missed dose. Please remember to take your next dose at the regular time. Of course, taking that missed dose late in the afternoon may mean you have to wake up several times during the night to pass urine. Do not double dose to make up for a missed one. I've accidentally taken too much medication. Ferozamide in overdose can be dangerous. Symptoms of overdose can include drowsiness and dizziness. If you believe you've taken an overdose of this medication, please seek emergency assessment. 
Are there any side effects? Fortunately, most will not experience any side effects. However, as with all medications, side effects can occur. Common side effects are passing more urine than usual, thirst and the episodes of dry mouth, dehydration causing alteration in blood salt balance, specifically the sodium and the potassium levels, dizziness, nausea and headaches, and even muscle spasms. Rarely people may experience more concerning side effects. If you experience any of the following, please consult with your doctor urgently. Unusual bruising, bleeding, fever or sore throat, which may indicate the development of a blood disorder, chest pain or unusual tightness, flank or abdominal pain, passing small volumes of urine, being confused or even drowsy may indicate severe dehydration and potential injury to your kidneys. Plus, a change in your hearing or tinnitus may show damage to your ears. Allergic reactions are concerning as they may be life-threatening. Fortunately, life-threatening allergic reactions are rare. Those with serious allergic reactions should call emergency services for assistance. Symptoms of severe allergic reaction can include swelling of the face, lips, mouth and throat, difficulty breathing, wheezing or chest tightness, and even an allergic skin rash. Of course, this list is not exhaustive. For a full list of side effects, refer to the drug information leaflet that comes with your medications. I hope this video has supplied the answers you were looking for. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.